Hi, I'm Leif, and this is Automotive Design 1. So we're going to start off with gathering materials. And this will consist of straws, tape, um, elastic bands, or even cardboard boxes. But the main parts you need for your balloon dragster is an axle, wheels, a body, and something to keep them all together, and a balloon. So, starting off with this is you need to sketch out your car from all these materials by imagining how they go together. But you also need to think about your criteria. How many wheels do you want? How big of a body do you want? Or balloons on it? Or do you want the car to be fast? Or do you want the car to go a long distance? Or even, um, do you want the car to be able to go in a straight line? These are all design criteria that will affect how your design is. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off sketching. So a ruler is very helpful for sketch sketching. <clears throat> but to sketch it, you need a front, top, and side view. This is the front view, this is the top view, and this is the side view. This is my body, these are my wheels, this is the axle, this is the straw, and this is the balloon. And if you looked at it, inside, balloon, straw, body, wheels, axle. And from the top, front view, I mean the side view, um, balloon, body, wheels, axle. So, and this is the front view. They call that because it's... When you're looking at the view, it's what gives you the most details and tells you what the object is. So here's an example. Here's the car's front view. This is the side view. And here is the top view, if you're looking at it. Your sketch doesn't have to be perfect. Neither is the next step you're going to do, which is making a model. The reason for this is so that you can save on materials. Let's start off with making a model using clay. All right. And the model I'm going to be making, making is what I've designed. It does not, and I will be not including the balloon into it if, if it's too difficult. But I know where it will be. And here's my model. Not very good looking, but you'd be very surprised how extremely useful models are for engineers. As you see, here's the body, here's the, um, the straw, the axles, and the wheels on it. We'll just imagine the balloon is just part of the straw. It would be way more easier than trying to add a giant flubbery Play-Doh to it. But there you have it. 